What is up, everybody? Scape211 here, and we are finally talking about the crazy AI murder bots that have been cropping up in the game for people. All right, um, I have wanted to talk about this, but I was not able to get footage of it for a while because I do not have them on my account. So uh, huge shout out to Silence, who's back there, and uh, Nihilus, who is helping, who helped me set this stuff up. Both of them. If you uh, have been on the Polarium Discord, you know them as the main Discord mods. Um, so huge shout out to both of you guys for hooking this up for me so that I can uh, see these bots in person and play some matches. And as you can see, they are intense, all right? We played um, some CPC, some 2v2, and some 5v5, and I'll show a little bit of each. This is stuff that I recorded already, um, but uh, yeah, first, first let me, uh, I guess, back up here and and kind of talk about this because some of you are saying uh, that you know you you probably have no idea what this is, right? Some of you may not have ever experienced it, so you don't know what this murder bot stuff is, um, or how I have AI that like how do I have an arachnos right now with with grav beams, um, or someone using EM rifles. Uh, this is something that has cropped up just for some accounts and not for everybody, all right? Uh, I don't know what percentage or who is exactly getting them, but some people are getting these harder uh, bots. And by harder bots, I mean they are crazy leveled or leveled to match you no matter what level you are. And then you're going to be seeing different builds. Now for me, I am on a maxed account and so is uh, Silence playing with me. So we are getting max bots and we will see EM rifles, we'll see redeemers. We'll see a lot of top end stuff that you you uh, see even in other players using that kind of stuff. All right, um, some of it is odd. You, you know, they they don't pick the best builds like the super meta builds, but you'll see some of that stuff mixed in. Uh, but it's all maxed out, and the AI is definitely a lot harder. Not as hard as playing like real people, of course, but it's definitely harder. Okay. Um, and the builds are different depending on what mode you play. And we'll play a little bit, or I'll show a little bit of the 5v5 footage that we got as well. Man, those EM rifles, they toast me. Uh, and, and we'll show some of that too. But um, the, the 2v2 footage uh, did not work out. I'm not sure why, but it didn't record those. So I don't have those, unfortunately. But you'll at least get to see some of the CPC and the 5v5 here. But um, so some of you are probably asking, how do I get these bots? Uh, why is this happening? Or, or how do I get rid of them? Any one of those questions, all right? Um, getting these bots, you can't really get them uh, unless you already have them. If you already have them, you know this and experience it. If you wanna see them for yourself, you have to play with somebody who has them and they have to start the matches and then you join. Um, and hopefully you don't get players so that you can just see how the bots work. But um, that's, that's kind of the deal for like how they or where they show up, all right? You just have to know somebody who has it on their account. It's not really anything you can make happen, okay? Um, but uh, some are asking, of course, or everybody's asking, why is this happening? Uh, is this a bug? Well, I did talk to Polarium about this, and they did confirm it is not a bug. Uh, it appears to be A-B testing. They didn't uh, say that specifically, but the mods did and based on what we're seeing and based on some other testing they have done That makes a lot of sense. Now if you don't know exactly what a B testing is um, It's kind of a general term that we use, uh, you know, when we're thinking even in the scientific sense um, of uh, of how they do tests between a control and a variable group. Maybe you've heard that term before. But uh, basically you have your main group or your control group where everything is the same. That's all of us who have like the regular account that we have. And then you have a group that we call the variable group where there's a change made so that you can see the data of both and compare, all right? Um, I did ask Polarium, why doesn't everybody have this? They said, well, then it wouldn't be something that we're, we're comparing and have data to test against. It would just be a straight change that everybody would have. So it's not really good for them to do it without having a control group to get data. So it makes sense as to why they're doing it, okay? They, they want to you know test this idea out for a change, um, and, and I don't know what that means, if it means that they're going to do murder bots or if they're going to have some version in between or something like that. Um, I don't know. Uh, but updating the bots isn't a bad idea. But the problem for me comes into the factor of when some people get these bots and some people don't, which is what we have right now. And that's why I think people are frustrated the most, because in a lot of cases, this game is run by how many kills, points, all that kind of stuff you can make. 
And if you're running any game mode or you're trying to do an event, you're trying to do achievements, you're trying to run tournament, points are a big deal, all right? I've known many people who said, I used to get three to 500 points in tournament. Now I'm getting less than that because the bots I have are insane. And that is absolutely true. Now, Polarium, um, I don't know if they didn't factor this in or think about it or still need to do this. Um, didn't really have much of a comment on that factor. Um, probably because it's something that they can't really get around. You know, I mean, that's going to happen, uh, which is the unfortunate thing. I do hope in the future, though, this is something that they consider, they think about, and allow a different option. For me, that option would be allowing players to opt into this. I mean, if they want to do this, if they want to have these higher level bots, which like I would, I would, I would take it on my account, um, then, you know, give it to those who, who are willing to try it or those who want to be part of the test, all right? Um, that to me seems more like fair than just giving it to random people who might need to, you know, save up for something or do a big push and can't really do that. Um, if we're, uh, if it's against, um, or I mean, if, it, if it's something where, uh, the, the player could get compensation, that's another thought. Uh, cause I think the idea of having some form of compensation, if you're going to do this would be viable, especially if you're not choosing to do it and they just made it on you, you know, you, you think, that you should have some form of compensation. Um, because as it stands, this is this is frustrating for a lot of players. Um, and this is probably the best information I could get about what happens when this happens in terms of like, you know, what you can uh, expect and why it's happening and that it's not a bug. Some people I think still think this is a bug. This is not a bug. Uh, it is something that they intended, but mostly for a testing purpose from what it seems. So, um, you know, I hope that it's something that they'll get the data they need and then can stop soon because I just think it's it's very difficult for a lot of people to be able to play and enjoy the game fairly when this kind of stuff is going on. So uh, you guys can let me know, though, like I, I don't know who's experiencing it, uh, who would like to experience it and what you think is fair. I mean, let's uh, let's just say that a that um, Polarium needs to do A-B testing, which I think is important. Um, what would be the best way to balance this so that they can still get the data they need but you know it's something that feels fair to the players because right now i know that a lot of people are frustrated by it um you know for me it would be the idea of opting in and then getting eight coins or some kind of compensation for doing it but uh that's just what i'm thinking so you guys can definitely tell me comment below what you think is a fair kind of thing uh for this um to you know be able to allow those to uh to opt in or to not with this kind of stuff. Um, I, I had a lot of fun doing it. I would, I would love to get these bots more often just because I think it'll sharpen me in the general gameplay aside from when I'm playing with people. Um, just because it, you know, I, I have to watch for things like EM rifles more, <laughs> but you guys can let me know what you think of this whole idea of, uh, the, the bots and how to best balance it for testing purposes. And again, a huge shout out to Silence and Nihilus for hooking this up for me. If you guys see them on the Polarium Discord, be sure to thank them as well for me. Um, it was a, a huge help to actually get some of this footage, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that uh, and we'll see you out there on the battlefield.